Can you give some examples of, of your favourite landscape architecture projects? I'd love to. From, from the ancient world, I give you the temple of Queen Hatshepsut in Western Thebes, modern Luxor, which is the first really great work of landscape architecture. And so you see the, the temple with its vertical columns composed in relation to the, the vertical fissures on the cliff behind. And then there's a temple and next door in the temple of Queen Metu Hotel, Hong Kong I'm quite right, are the oldest tree planting positions known anywhere in the world. It's a fabulous project to go. And then from the classical world, Delphi in Greece, where there was probably a sacred place long before it was um, a sanctuary, which it is now. And so it was chosen for being a very, very special place in the landscape in relation to the peaks and to the view down the valley and the view up the valley. It's wonderful. From, from the Renaissance world, the, the Villa Lanti, which is a villa in a, a place of country retreat, but the buildings are properly arranged as ornaments to the landscape. So the garden, it's a garden, but the garden is related arranged in relation to the town and it's a wonderful composition with a story of those five elements. From the, from the Baroque world, my favourite of the French gardens is Courants. I won't say any more about it. From the neoclassical world, in gardens, Starhead and Studley Royal. But much more interesting the urban design for Edinburgh, which is where I was brought up, and it was designed by James Craig, who was um, the son of a landscape poet, um, James Thompson, and he arranged it by looking at the landform of Edinburgh and arranging one street, Prince's Street, in relation to the park and a second street, George Street, on the top of the ridge, and then urban squares at both ends. And it was just a simple diagram, and it's produced the best urban design in Britain, and it's based on a landscape concept. Going, going forward to the 19th century, I offer you Central Park, which is the, the project that launched the landscape architecture profession. It was designed by Olmsted and the term landscape architect came from a Scotsman, Gilbert Lang Meeson, and it was used for this amazing project when New York was only Lower Manhattan and they set aside a gigantic area of land further north, which was just open country at the time. And Olmsted said, It'll, it'll become enclosed when the buildings rise up all round it, which they did. And you just couldn't have a better project to launch landscape architecture. And that's why it came back as a term to Europe. And that's why it spread round the world, just because of the wonder of those projects. From the 20th century, I offer you a project for the international exhibition in Barcelona by Mies van der Rohe, the Barcelona Pavilion, which is just perfect as an example of modernism. And to finish, from the man who popularised the term postmodernism, Charles Jenks, I think that his project for the Scottish Gallery of Modern Art in my hometown, in Edinburgh, is, is just a brilliant project. It's, it, you know, it was an old manor house and he put a startling project and I think that it couples with all the history of landscape architecture that I've been through. 